Hey everybody, welcome back to the server. Um, yeah, so today we are officially done with the big dig, so this will be the last wrap up on that. Uh, before we do get going, uh, someone came up with a really cool name for uh, the first editions from the big dig, um, and that is the pick up your shit uh, first edition. And uh, yeah, that's. I, I named it like that because it kind of sounds funny, plus it's not, I guess, as quote-unquote offensive to people, possibly, or whatever. People would be less bothered, but anyway. Um, that was actually suggested by Kill Anyone, so uh, thanks to him for that suggestion. And dang it, I hate changing versions, it's so frustrating. Uh, controls, go down here and fix this stupid thing with Optifine. Okay, so, anyway. So yeah, we, uh, we're going to go ahead and hop out and uh, go check out the... Um, dig site real quick and we're going to start off with that but that is not going to be the huge focal point of the server uh, today or the video today rather uh, we actually are going to start digging a little bit and go over some topics um, Micah or Mika I'm not sure exactly how to say the name I want to say Micah is what my gut says but I uh, made a couple qu or had a couple questions after last week's video that I wanted to go over and um so I'll go over those once we get to the actual like digging part of our project because we're gonna work on block O a little bit today. Um, God, it feels so weird not having a speed two buff. It just feels so slow. Um, let's get out of here and go check out the dig site though. Um, now to let you guys know, oh. <sighs> Great. Anyway, well, I'm not going to go ahead and go on because that means it's going to take a while for me to get there. So I will go ahead and just do a cut here, guys, and I will be back. Okay, guys. So, uh, yeah, here we are uh, with a bunch of beacons just sitting here because um, apparently someone broke beds because they're jerks. So now we got that set, I hope. No, it really doesn't matter. We're actually probably going to want to go sleep back in our base anyway. So, what is... I don't understand what's going on out here. Anyway, um, so we're going to head over here to all the corners and check them out while we're over here. Um, as you can see, like, there's still stuff that's not done, which this is the corner that was first cleared out and everything. New mountain or new corner or... Whatever noon, noob, corner mountain, whatever they end up calling it. I don't know. Uh, this is their area here. And uh, we'll head over here just to give you an idea of how stupidly big this is. I have no idea how creepers spawn. Well, I guess technically they can spawn with the snow as long as there's air blocks. So we'll launch over here. Man, this is really freaking huge. It takes this long to just run corner to corner. So yeah, as you can see, cleared this all out, and uh, there's a nice little hole there. Head over this direction. This is where Harmony did her work early on. Um, glad I brought a lot of Ender Pearls on me. Holy crap! Uh, so we're just gonna keep going over this direction. Now, the video for this series or for this stuff, really, what a sniper try. Bad sniper, but good try. Um, the video series for this stuff is going to be... Come on. It's going to actually be a very, very long video with a lot of stuff. So it's going to take a while before that video comes out. Um, I want to do an overhead view uh, time-lapsed in the corner. So you'll be able to see the progress from above that we recorded. And we actually streamed a lot of that stuff, which, as you can see, we know, if you may notice, we do have some spawners that we saved and everything up there, uh, which is kind of cool, but I don't know what they'll be used for. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much it. You can see the whole thing this way. That's kind of cool because it hasn't had time to unload everything, which is pretty awesome. Um, so we'll actually go ahead and grab a screenshot real quick because we can. Um, so, yeah. That's pretty much, uh, that's really all that happened here. There's nothing super duper special. Um, it's just a typical big perimeter, and now we're flattening bedrock. That's the next stage, um, as you can see. 
And uh, huge thanks to everyone who came out and helped. Uh, huge thanks to everyone who came out and supported us. Um, lots of cool stuff happened and had a great time. We will continue Saturday streams, but they will not be the massive marathons that this was. So um, it'll actually probably be about three to four hours instead. And this upcoming one is either going to be a bedrock breaking party or it's going to be... Um, Dang it, dang it. Uh, spawn work, which it's probably going to be spawn work kind of thing. Hoping it's safe, because basically it looks like someone modified the cart path, and they shouldn't have. And I don't know if Nuke went to work on it or something. I don't know if he went to work on it or not, but he'll find that out in this video anyway. <laughs> Cardi, whoops. So, while we're taking this little ride, uh, I will chat. So, like I said, I'm going to do a huge video on that, which also means that with the help of some server members, I believe, and a lot of time, I will be going through all that footage, pulling out highlights and stuff like that. Um, I do have world saves that I'm going to try to do some cool Cam Camtasia Studio, um, not Camtasia Studio, Cam Studio, whatever, the, the mod that allows you to do flybys and all that fantastic stuff, um, so I'm going to use that and try to do some progress shots by doing that, and it'll be interesting to see, um, so we're going to do that, and then... There's going to be, there's just a lot of stuff that's going to be in it, so that'll be a little while before it comes out, and we're also working on uh, trying to get a special person to come on and do the last bedrock removal piece. Um, so that'll be that. Now, moving forward, uh, this is where we kind of can get our list out and start taking a note of what we plan on doing. Uh, since 1.8 is probably starting to get close to coming out, um, I want to go ahead and get my block O dug out. That's a pretty high priority for my personal project because picks are a little bit more annoying in 1.8 compared to repairing them infinitely in 1.7, so I'd like to get as much work done as possible that way. And then um, also the spawn project. Uh, I'm going to be working on that. Uh, I've already kind of laid out a rough roadmap that I've started to build in, and when we go to spawn, I'll show you the first road I've already installed. It's nothing much at all, but it'll give you an idea of, you know, what we're going for kind of thing. I wanted to keep kind of an organic feel. Um, so, yeah, we'll be doing that. And uh, digging out the block O. And then there's a couple topics today that uh, we w I wanted to go over. Um, and... Oh god, this is the dip that just doesn't make sense. That needs to be fixed or something. But, uh, yeah, so... I really need water right now. I'm actually thirsty, and unfortunately I don't have water. So, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and cut here, guys, and, uh, at the end of the cart ride, I'll come back, and I'll have water by then. Okay, guys, we're back. And we're about to finish our ride here. Okay, so... Hop out of our cart. Break it, because we're not a slob. I have no idea why I now have two in my inventory, but that's kind of annoying. Okay, so we'll hop over to spawn real quick. And, uh, yeah. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Okay. So, come on. Give me speed, too. Give me speed, too. Thank you. Or speed, actually. I think someone's been messing with this stuff. Oh, no, we have speed, too, again. Yay! So, Nuke has already installed a little pond here. Um... This door needs to be worked on by Spock. He needs to fix that still. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, someone has done a map and got our map back. And that's not in the most viewable position, though, because I'm not at level with it. That's kind of annoying. Um, okay, so let's see. Anyway, whatever. <laughs> Emerald backed. Ah, that's not showing off our wealth at all or anything like that. Um, yeah, so anyway. Oh, 
we're still, we're actually going to be starting that again this week since the dig is done. Uh, Friday, which will be two days from now, we will be going back to the uh, UHC lottery. So for any server members watching, you should probably make sure you get your vote in. Um, anyway, so this is the road I've went ahead and installed. Um, it's nothing super special. I already know that kind of thing, but I'm really happy with the curve I got out of it considering I kind of free like I marked in a little bit and then came back down and had to redo everything by hand and uh, this part here as I went down I wanted to uh, kind of go with the flow of the land so it wasn't just like cutting through the land entirely I want to try to stick to those kind of features as much as possible um, but we'll hop up here okay that's not really the hop I was going for but whatever uh, yeah, let's just go there. Fall down really hard. Okay, yeah. Uh, that's not the slot I want you in. Um, okay, now let's hop up here, which is actually a little bit harder than it should be. Okay, cool. So, oh, actually. Uh, this is some improvements that Nuke has already put into place. Uh, we were going to do biomes up here. So he's already started modifying the biomes a little bit and doing the custom stuff, which is really, really cool. Um, I think there's more work to be done. I'm not entirely sure what his long-term plan is on that, but, you know, that's his thing. Apparently, a sheep has spawned up here. That's cute. Um, so, as you can see, that's a pretty decent curve in the uh, road um, for kind of freehanding. It looks like it gets a little wide and everything, but there's also going to be a road coming up here. And it's going to follow out this way somewhere. I think it's kind of like that. Kind of like that a little bit. And then there's one that's going to come down here. So I have some ideas on some stuff that's going to be done. Um, that's really it for spawn. So we're going to hop out of here. Whoop. Yay. Okay. What the hell? Okay. Yeah, no idea what the heck that's about. Um, hopefully someone cleans it up because it looks like crap. Um, I found random dirt sitting in a corner the other day too. I don't really understand that. Um, so spawn is definitely a priority. And uh, as you can see, another hub would be really nice. So eventually we'll be working on that. We also have... Uh, so another hub would be nice and also a nether perimeter will eventually be done um, I'll be curious to see how that works out um, let's see oh crap okay let's try this again walking up the stairs I'm curious to see what it says ages ago whatever it looks like crap but whatever um come on let's eat and get here um now at the end of this video i am going to go ahead and actually include the uh, artwork or actually i might do it integrated into the video because really the content after this in terms of visually isn't going to be all that interesting it's just going to be me doing a lot of dig uh, i'm trying to anvil nerdy okay um, so, anyway, like, okay, so we're back at our base, we have reacquired some of our picks from the project and everything, as you can see, there's a lot of repair jobs that need to be done, uh, we do have, um, oh, here's the other, the final countdown first edition, along with the what is love first edition, so we now have three first editions, we are going to hold on to those as long as humanly possible, um, I have a lot of crap that's enchanted here that I did not realize. Huh. I can use that to repair because i got to repair these things because I borrowed them from Nuke. So i got to repair them and return them soon. Uh, anyway, so what we're going to do is get on to actually working on the dig because we need it. Um, come down here. 
and I've already kind of outlined stuff so I don't think there's going to be more than what I've already outlined uh, we'll go ahead and drop off some materials here uh, ender pearls nope that is not where you're supposed to go okay ender pearls go here grab a stack even though we won't really need them and we don't need all this chicken in our inventory and the other stuff's miscellaneous crap I really don't need I need a miscellaneous chest which for right now has basically been this um, I don't really know if I need that. I actually do know where some of this stuff can go. I'm sorry, guys. I'm going to put stuff up while I'm doing this because otherwise it's just be me being kind of foolishly dumb not to. So let's see. Drop you there. And then you're probably iron. Yep. Okay. And dirt, I believe, is out. I really need to mark these damn chests. That's the biggest thing that's killing me now is, like, I haven't gotten around to marking any of this crap. So it's just all over the freaking place. Um, I'm not even sure where the stairs came from at this point. Um, I'm just going to go through the rest of the miscellaneous because I really don't feel like sorting it right now. And I'm not entirely sure where I have gold or bones or this at. Torches, I need... Actually, I need to craft some torches because we need a lot of torches. Um, because it just starts creating a lot of dark space where stuff loves to spawn and kill you. Um... I had coal. Apparently I don't have coal. So... I thought I had coal on me. I guess not. Anyway, so we'll create this. It helps if you actually craft it right. Um, okay. I don't need a cart on me because that's just wasted space. And I really don't need the sticks, but whatever. I don't feel like putting them away. So... Getting on to the stuff here. Now, theoretically, this time there should be something on the top because last time I completely forgot to do it. But, uh, basically, a couple questions that were asked of me, if I remember correctly. Let me go ahead and tab out and pull it over, real, pull them up real quick. Okay, so, uh, let's see. What's your opinion of big YouTubers who don't understand the basics of games they play? This is again asked by um, Micah or Mika or however you say your name. If I'm saying it wrong, I'm sorry. Um, so, I, he provided an example of this being like Captain Sparkles. And uh, here's the thing. like People like that, um, I think they kind of do understand the game well enough. Like I don't think they're completely not understanding the game. Um, so it, it's kind of, I don't really feel like that's a really good example kind of thing. That being said, you don't have to really understand the game to understand what you're doing in YouTube. Uh, and he's actually a really good example of that. I think he has something like 10 million subs or some shenanigans like that. And I watched one of his videos in research and for me, it was mind numbingly awful. Like... I don't understand how a human being could watch this material. Holy crap, it is awful, kind of thing. But that is me, and I'm definitely not his demographic or target audience in any sense, I don't think. Like, I don't know exactly what his audience is, but if I were to guess, it's kind of young. Um, but, you know, I'm not his target audience, and his target audience, because he has 10 million people following him, and this video was up for like a day, maybe? maybe two max and it had half a million views on it um if you're getting half a million views and you know i mean there were just tons and tons of likes then hey the people that are watching your videos are enjoying it um and that's really what you should do um and like that's really what it comes down to so many people really dislike the way they do stuff kind of thing I don't care for it. It's not the way my channel would ever function because really more than anything else, it's not my personality. Um, I'm not going to go do something if it's not who I am because I'm not going to be good at it. And that's just not my personality. Now, like when I was watching it, uh, we have Imboos on our server who can be a very loud guy. Um, and I think he could actually fit in with a group like that in the sense that entertainment-wise, he would be very similar. But he's very competent in the game, and I mean, I don't know if he would really quote-unquote stoop to that level to achieve, you know, that effect kind of thing. I don't know if that's something he would do. And so it's really kind of one of those things that 
for me, it was unbelievably painful to watch. Um, it, it, I mean, it was just very loud, obnoxious. Oh my god! I, I don't know how that's entertaining. Um, and that's just not me. So I, I don't get it. But you know, if they have a viewer base that's that big, that is enjoying what they're doing, then you know, more power to them. Um, now, kind of going into the concept of people just playing games because, you know, a company is asking them to do an LP because, you know, LPs are really the way that people seem to be getting a lot of good exposure for their games and stuff like that. And possibly, you know, maybe they're, you know, throwing money at these guys to do this, which might lead to a slightly biased, you know, review or something like that. There's always that possibility. Um... Oh, there's the, cat, the tunnel over here I dug. I'm sitting there like, why is there light already there? Um, and not lava pouring out of it. But, uh, so, you know, it's just unbelievably awful, in my opinion. But that's my opinion, and I'm not the target demograph. And, you know, I, I've heard a lot of good things about him. Like, he seems like a nice guy. Um, when the whole Minorama thing happened, the, you know, scam convention, which I guess it might actually be refunding people's money, which is awesome to hear because it's ridiculous that they like it just screams that it's gonna be another freaking scam kind of thing so I'm massively over lighting this but whatever I just don't want crap spawning um, so that's really what it comes down to I think like if you know your viewer base and they enjoy it then go with it you know that's it, I'm not better than them in any sense because I don't do that and they're not better in any sense because they do that they're doing what they think will get them the most views and entertainment. And that's what their job is, is to entertain. You know, these guys make a living off of it. It's not like they're just sitting here doing this as a hobby. Um, I mean, it may have started out that way, but, you know, that's what they do. And good on them for, you know, that kind of stuff, I guess. But it's just not something I would ever do because that's not how I entertain. Um... I know this was really something that you thought would be a lot more expected of an answer based on my comments there, but it, it, I think they get way too much crap and not enough respect for the fact that they actually did something that a lot of people wish they could do, and they may have just done it in a way that a lot of people think that the, isn't the right way to do it, and quite honestly, that's horseshit. Um... You know, you really in no place to judge them as doing things right or wrong or, you know, any of that stuff. Like, they did it the way they wanted to do it, and they're happy about it, so that that's really it. I mean, don't hate on them kind of thing. You know, there's people who don't like my content because it's not exciting or fast-paced or blah, 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 whatever. There's tons of people who don't like that, too, and, you know, thankfully I don't have any problems with stuff like that, but, you know... There's just no reason to show hate. Now, you know, do I think there's people out there who do it the wrong way? Yes. I'm not going to name them off. I'm not even going to go into them. But, you know, if you really pay attention to a channel, you can figure it out. Um, are we really full up already? I don't really care for flint, so let's just get stone out of it. Um, did I? Okay, cool. I did dig this thing. So, ugh, this is going to be annoying. Why do I not have a haste 2 out here? Like... I'm pretty sure when I dug the top one, I never had this problem, so I don't understand why I'm, it's taking so long out here. It's kind of annoying. Um, so, anyway, uh, come on, give me my beacon effects, please. Thank you. Uh, so that really covers that. Now, the other question was, if I could be a larger YouTuber, who would I be? Now, a lot of you are probably going to think, hey, this is going to be a Minecraft person. Um, it's actually not. There's a lot of interesting Minecraft guys that I like a lot. Um, a lot of them that I respect a lot, especially the way they act beyond YouTube. Um, my interactions with certain people beyond YouTube have been exceptional with uh, people, you know. Uh, it's been very, very, very awesome to have the interactions that I have. Now, uh, that being said, in terms of being a YouTuber, there's one very specific one that... I've recently found, why am I going to the wrong place? That's not a good start. And uh, not only have I recently found them, but they actually talked about something that kind of relates to how I try to um, perceive things. Like, kind of the question that's being asked, you know, before this is, 
you know, I, I could take the very negative slash on, you know, big YouTubers who do things differently than me. Um, that's a very easy route to take. Uh, but getting on with it, uh, Quill18, he's a guy who not only YouTube-wise am I pretty impressed with, but his general approach to things has been very respectable. Um, he seems like an incredibly smart guy, a very comfortable guy, and very positive. Uh, like, for example, I will go ahead and cite a little bit out of what he recently put up um, concerning Sims 4 and the whole uh, removal of Creator World, or I don't know exactly what it is, but it's a feature that apparently a lot of people are missing, kind of thing. And um, then there's also. Uh, the no longer being able to do toddler stage or something like that, and then there's also no longer being able to do uh, pools or something like that. So these features being removed or whatever, apparently I guess that's got Sims people in a freaking uproar or whatever. And he pointed out, you know, instead of really hating on stuff like that, um, he took it more from a approach of trying to focus on what was good brought to the table. And I know there's a better way to put this, and he does it on his video, so really just go watch his video if you want to see the true story. But basically, instead of just being one of those people on the internet who rips on people and, oh, this is awful, this is awful, and basically what he called, I think he called it the hate train, which is a good way to put it, the internet has one hell of an infrastructure for the hate train. Um, very, very, very fine-tuned. I mean, you, you get that thing going. Oh, my God, it's just going to go hate, hate, hate. And, I mean, that's what it is. And he does not really care to be involved with that. And, yeah, he could get some more views and exposure and crap like that by doing that. But that's not his thing. And I really respect that about Quill. Um, so, it, he's got he's got over 100,000 subs and... It's pretty good view to sub ratio. He does a lot of content. A lot of games that I find very interesting that I want to play, I actually find because of him. Um, so he really, he, he really samples a lot of stuff. And just, like, utmost respect for the guy. I, I really enjoy watching him. Very comfortable watching him. I really would love sometime to actually meet him. He does streaming and stuff like that as well. Um, so it would be really awesome to actually have a bit of an interaction with him. Um, at some point, and that would be really cool, and, you know, it is what it is, you know, he's busy kind of thing, so I don't really want to go try to bother him about that, but if I were to ask for someone to be a YouTube mentor for me, kind of thing, or someone that I would really look to guidance to doing YouTube, I would really think that he would be the guy, um, that I would really hope for, because I really like the way he does things, and... I want to do things like him, not to copy him, but, you know, emulate what he does kind of thing, because it's respectable, and it's a very high quality, and I appreciate that a lot, so uh, that would be the guy I would really, really look forward to, if I could be a bigger YouTuber, I would like to be him, because he's a very awesome YouTube guy, and I highly recommend you guys go check him out. Um, especially if you're into strategy. If you're into strategy, you will really, really care for him because he does a lot of strategies type stuff. And overall, he's an awesome guy who's very comfortable and just... I, I, I mean, the, the guy's aces kind of concept. He's really, really good. He's really, really nice. Um, and really, really awesome. So that is who I would like to be if I were a bigger YouTuber. Um, now... You know, as I said, I'm not obviously covering a Minecraft personality kind of thing here. Um, so I play a little bit of a different game setup than he does. I feel like this... Is this coming out right? I hope this is coming out right. Uh, I really hope this is. I'm probably going to wrap up here. This isn't going to be a very long episode today. Because I'm tired still and kind of burnt out from the Big Dig stuff. So my energy levels are depleted. Um, and I kind of just want to... Quite honestly, watch a little bit of Zisto's Season 5 stuff and see if that is any better than what I was seeing in Season 4 kind of concept. So I'd like to be able to sit down, eat a little bit of food, and continue to recover from the dig. And awesome, it looks like it worked out perfectly. Um, I'm just going to cover you up. I don't really care about iron. Um, so cool, that looks like that worked out perfectly. Now, 
what I would like to do is try to get back to doing two episodes a week plus a stream on here. And I'm on the wrong level for what I'm trying to show you because I'm completely disoriented. Um, let's see. Okay. Um, so I would like to get back to this. Um, there will be an order for how I roll these out kind of thing based on who's donated when. And since I've received so many recent donations from the streams, I absolutely want to make sure I get those names out here. So I would like to do that very, very soon. Um, trying to think if there's anything, I feel like I really had more to go on here. Um, there's probably some videos that or some images that were coming up while I was doing that dig that will show you some of the renderings and artwork that was done during the uh, streams, which uh, huge thanks again to Blaze, Evil Tony, and 8Brit for the work on that. Um, I don't know if Tater's gotten out his rap video yet. I need to go check that out. I haven't done that today because I've been really, really busy. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, there, it's going to be a little bit tougher to do the content wise on this because as I said I'm pretty much just going to be digging uh, for next week's topic I think I'm going to go ahead and discuss girl gamers um, and I have an idea on how I may approach that but I'm not exactly sure but for sure I will be going over the absurdity of some of the stuff that goes around girls, uh, girls playing games um like, I, I read an article recently, and I'll probably post a link in that video or something like that that will go to it. Maybe I'll post it in this one. I'm not sure. But it just... It felt like it was a topic that needs to be discussed. And, you know, I, I'm definitely not going to be like, oh, I'm speaking for women. That's just freaking stupid. can't speak for them at all. Um, because I'm not a woman. Um, but, basically, it just... It, yeah, th that's going to be a topic for next week that I want to discuss. And if you have any other topic ideas, you're more than welcome to suggest them. But for next week, we will be discussing the whole girls and gaming kind of thing. Because there's stuff I would like to discuss about it and get out there. And yeah, that's pretty much it. That's my reason. Because I want to. <laughs> um, I hope that's a good enough reason. If not, then you're probably on the wrong channel. Um, but yeah, so that's really it. I'm going to go ahead, as I said, the priorities here are going to be, um, first of all, buying the new chair I need to buy. Oh, um, update on my car, for those of you who are kind of interested about that, slash want to know what's happened. Uh, it was just a radiator along with some hoses that I had to get taken care of. It was taken care of Monday. Uh, it cost me a wonderful, uh, well, quote-unquote cost me, uh, $1,100. Now, that being said... I also got a very timely raise from my job slash work um, that picked up for a thousand. So basically, I work for my father and to help me out kind of thing. Since I've been running the business more this summer than I usually do, he went ahead and I feel like I should continue being productive instead of just jumping around at the end of a video. Um, he went ahead and gave me a little bonus to help pay for the uh, car issues. So that was very convenient. Um, and very much so awesome and quite appreciated. Um, so very happy about that. And it still cost me a hundred bucks out of my pocket, but much, much better than what I thought it was going to be. So I'm not complaining at all. <laughs> um, so that's really the update on that. The car's back. Everything's running. We seem to be out of the woods with that for now. Um, that's really, really good news for me because then that means I can possibly still go on a vacation this year, which would be nice. Because I would really like a vacation at some point where I can just take a break from everything. And yeah, that would be lovely. So there's that. Now, as I said, priorities. Uh, the I'm basically going to do one video a week on uh, the Block O and working on this and probably the ones where I discuss stuff and then the other video will be me working on uh, spawn and getting that set up so we can finally get our spawn village built and everything so that will be what the goal is I would like to do Tuesdays and Thursdays on that now for those of you watching who may or may not watch the forgotten series and I'm probably gonna put a separate video out on this but basically the forgot forgotten series on YouTube for me is finished um, we have killed the Ender Dragon. It wasn't hard. We went in horribly ill-equipped with, like, four people. Uh, a couple of us died and lost all the good gear immediately because 
you know, bad luck kind of thing. Um, so yeah, it is what it is, and I'm going to switch that over to a stream-related series kind of thing. So I will be streaming that content, but I will no longer. Oops, clicked out a window. Yeah, <laughs> um, I will no longer be producing videos on that. So. It's been fun with that, but now it's kind of the point where I don't really feel like I can do much more video content that's going to be different from vanilla other than how everything looks. So, I'd rather stream it and have the direct interaction instead. That, that's really what it comes down to. So, uh, that series will be finished for now. Uh, not for now, it's finished. I'm going to just move that over to a stream series if you really want to follow it. Twitch.tv slash VibratorLP, just like usual. Um, so that takes care of that. Now, uh, let's see. So, spawn project, uh, block O. And then I really want to start branching out and doing some stuff on the server beyond this stuff. But we need to get this dug out ASAP. Like, this is very, very important. So, good lord, I'm trying to yawn like crazy. And, mm, no. <laughs> anyway, so... Block O, we need to get dug out at least so we can be in good condition for that. Spawn, I want to get marked out so people can start moving in and making the spawn village because we want to do a really awesome city there. And um, after that, really, I have some ideas on what I want to work on. Um, and I'm going to be honest with you guys, you know, the more views I've been getting lately, it seems like the channel's growing, everything's kind of getting fluid. Um, I've received the message loud and clear that you guys care about contingency far more than anything else I do. So, uh, in terms of YouTube videos, basically I don't plan on putting anything out except contingency related material because that's what everybody wants to watch. Um, so, I'm just not going to do anything else unless there's a reason, but I don't see that happening anytime soon. So, uh, contingency is the only thing you're going to see on here, uh, aiming for two episodes a week, one of Block O, one of Spawn, and then possibly more later, depending on what's going on. Uh, one of the series might change a little bit into a different project um but i have tons of ideas lots of cool stuff and i'm very very excited about it um other than that i will see you guys next week thank you for watching you guys have a great one take care